GMAT's hidden luck factor, exposed, NBA rankings shaken up, a six-year battle ending in a 775 perfect score. This isn't just another weekly update, it's everything you need to transform your test prep and application strategy. Today, we're diving deep into GMAX scoring secrets, the data insights section most students get wrong, the surprising new top MBA programs, and one emotional story behind a 775 score that proves persistence really pays off. So let's get into it. Data insights looks simple until it's not. If you've ever stared at a multi-tab MSR and thought, why is this so hard? You're not alone. But the good news, there's a strategy that works and it's just been laid out by someone who scored a perfect DI84. This new article breaks DI into five question types, MSR, table analysis, graphics interpretation, two-part analysis, and data sufficiency, along with exact traps and survival tips for each. The approach isn't about doing more, it's about doing it smarter. You learn how to diagnose your weak points before diving into practice, build a custom error log with actual strategies to fix your mistakes, train for speed and stamina across three focused phases, and walk into test day with a mindset that keeps you calm, focused, and in control. Typing tips, pacing plans, mental reset checkpoints, it's all there. If Data Insights is dragging your score down, this is the fix. Link is in the description. If you've ever wondered whether you can go from the low 600s to a top tier GMAT score, this next story is for you. An Indian engineer targeting MIM programs at LBS, INSEAD, and HEC just scored a 735, jumping 120 points from his previous walk. His key takeaway is Target Test Prep gave structure and clarity, especially in quant. OG plus GMAT Club explanations were critical for mastering verbal. He learned how to walk away from time-sucking questions, especially in DI, and he visualized a score before test day to fight anxiety. His first attempt stalled at a 675, but after tweaking his test day section order and tightening his timing discipline in DI, his second try came back with a 735. If you're hovering in the 610 to 650 range, this post is packed with practical tips to break out. It's linked down below. Big shifts this year in GMAT Club's full-time MB rankings for 2025 to 2026. Wharton is back at number one, followed by Kellogg, Stanford, Harvard, and NYU Stern, rounding out the top five. One of the biggest surprises, Booth dropped to number seven after topping last year's list. These rankings are purely data-driven, no commercial influence, and only includes US programs. If you're trying to narrow down your list of target schools, this is a must-read. More details and the full table are in the description. If you're considering a master in management instead of an MBA, you need to check out this new global breakdown. It covers the top MIM programs in the US, Canada, UK, Europe, Asia, and Australia, along with a guide on how to pick the right program for your goals. You'll also find a companion post listing more than 20 top scholarships for MIM students. A few highlights. You've got the Eiffel Scholarship in France, Erasmus Plus for Europe, Bocconi's full tuition waivers, NUS and NTU scholarships in Singapore, Fulbright, and Tata Trusts for Indian students heading abroad. If budget is holding you back, this is your starting point. Full list is linked below. Before we wrap up, a quick roundup of standout tools and content this week. BB's official guide error log. Supercharge your OG practice with this searchable tracker. Great for targeting weak areas. Bunwell's top 100 PS questions, filtered from real GMAT Club timer data, these are the toughest problems attempted last month. Ideal for high scores. GMAC plus GMAT Ninja's video. In a new conversation, GMAC's senior psychometrician reveals how scores are calculated, how experimental questions work, and why sometimes luck does play a role. Harsh's 775 story. Six years of setbacks and he still came out on top. If you need motivation, this video is it. Watch how Harsh used every resource from OG to GMAT Club to GMAT Ninja to finally hit that dream score. All links are, as always, in the description. And that's it for this week's update. Whether you're grinding through prep or starting your school shortlist, 
We hope this roundup brings you a few steps closer to your goals. If this video helped you out, do us a favor, hit like, subscribe, and share it with a fellow GMAT clubber. We are here every week with the latest prep strategies, test taker stories, school updates, and more. So good luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.